please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. Dave Williams, chauffeur here with today's video, Slick Tire Pressures. Here in the Northern Hemisphere, racing season is soon upon us. And for those of you in the Southern Hemisphere, you're in the midst of your racing season. So we wanna get you some slick tire pressures, give you the maximum grip, and the best life out of your tires. Here's a preview. My name is Dave Moss. For over 20 years now, I've been helping riders maximize the performance and life of the tires on their motorcycles. This is Contact Patch. Let's look at some research that we've done over the years with, with tires that are slick tires, specifically for race use only. And as always with the track, in terms of race use, we only use hot pressures. We do not use cold. It is your job to get those tires on the warmers to the specific temperature required for the exact duration specified by the manufacturer. And it's also your job to check that your tire warmers are effective, doing their job in the correct period of time so that you do not set an incorrect hot pressure because your tire warmers got to 25C versus 35C or got to 150 Fahrenheit versus 185. Periodic tests of tire warmers, their effectiveness over time is mandatory so that you know the hot pressure you are setting is correct so that you get the best out of the tire. It is not the tire's fault if you are not keeping up with the effectiveness of your warmers, you set an incorrect pressure and get adverse wear. Oh no! I on the downhill of the corkscrew, my front end just went. Yeah. Just straight away from you? Yeah. And I, okay. I wasn't going very fast, but I feel like I might have lost some of the heat of the tire warmers in the morning because I came out behind a fella who was pretty slow, followed him for about four laps. Ooh. And then it was just like I was looking for a good place to pass, but I knew it was cold, so I didn't want to like push. Mm -hmm. And then I passed him, and then coming downhill, I just lost the front. Okay. I don't know, I'm not feeling that great right now. This is, I just got the bike back after lunch, so okay. I haven't, this is my first session back. All right, what do you need? Uh, I'm not sure, how's it Just like? a check over? Yeah, just a check over. It's okay. Stuff. Well, I just want to check it structurally from the crash, so go ahead, okay. jump off. Take your time. Now front end straight. This bar is slightly further out, which makes sense because it crashed here. Yeah, I had to kick that bar out again. Yeah, you'll have to nudge that out. There's nothing wrong with the front, it's tracking perfectly straight. So that's all fine. Steering stem's good, nothing's broken there. Nah, you're good. good. Yeah. Good. No reason for you not to ride it. Shifter and everything's good. Brakes good. What bike is this? SV 650. First gen. Because the round frame, the tubular frame versus the other one. Can looks intact. Flog it. Give it some berries. Coming out of five, lost the rear. What? I don't know. First lap. Warmers on or not? Warmers on. For Did you check with your hand when you took the warmer off that the tie was hot? No, I did not check it. I didn't touch it. Okay, shit. But I don't know. It's gotta be that. Really? Yeah. yeah. Shit. Because there's nothing nothing wrong with the bike. Yeah, I don't get it. You know, it's just <laughs> I was telling your friend, like, went out with the intention of like being smooth consistent. Mm -hmm. Last sure. on the train, so I wasn't pressured by anybody. Coming in, I was coming in, not very hot, and I was geared one up because I'm afraid of popping sound over there. Right. And I'm just coming out, so just gently roll up. I don't get it. Neither do I. Mean, I. That makes no sense. Yeah. No. Yeah. By now. It's, you know, well, no, you'd still see marks on the edge of the tire. 
You lost the front, not the rear. Oh, really? Yep. The front went pirouetting the rear around it. Oh, okay. It felt, uh, like, it felt like the back. The back has no spin marks uh, okay. as the tire's leaving traction, but the front does. Uh, that would suggest that it was the front. But if you look at your rear tire all the way around the circumference, all the marks are 90 degrees to the circumference, none have any bend at all. Mm -hmm. So it would suggest now the front could easily do that in the gravel spinning and get those marks. So yes, that's possible. But the, the golden thing there is if you didn't touch the tire and feel it with the warmers, was it, was it hot at all? Yeah. And given what you said this morning, Previously, I, I, I should have said, make sure your warmers are actually working. Yeah. Well, Fuck. Are you okay? I mean, I'm okay. I'm gonna, before I pack it up, I'm just gonna see if the warmers are getting warm. Sure. I'm not gonna ride again, but I'm just gonna... Okay, yeah. no, I understand that. Yeah. That would actually be more consistent because you lost the front the first time, so that's losing the front twice. Yes. Yeah. If that's the case, yeah. So now we've got to check that the warmers work and not only do they plug in and light up, but do they get it to 180 C versus 100? Uh-huh. So... I was setting them also at like 158. I don't know, is that too cold? No. No? Okay. No, that's enough heat. Yeah. Um, plug them in. I don't have a probe though, I mean... Come get my laser gun. Okay. Plug them in, give it half an hour. Okay. If you're going to pa literally pack up and pack up everything but the bike, right? Come grab my laser gun and come shoot them but give it about 30 minutes and make sure the bike, put the bike in the position you've had it in when it's been on the warmer so there's no variable there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks, Dave. It's the most common thing I run across all the time. So I want to make that point first and foremost. So in regards to Dunlock slicks, that gives you a look at where generally I find for most riders, that these hot pressures will work fine, but with very significant data points here on track temperature, where unless it is at that level, under no circumstances do you put those tires on because they just won't work. Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com.